Good evening, today is Wednesday, October 18, 2023. This is your update for Thursday, the 19th. All right, let's go. Windows setups tonight. There are a few shorts setting up in here, continuing, continuing to set up. And on a bounce, we'll probably see a lot more. The good news is the market is moving, unfortunately, not in the ideal direction. But we have to play the hand that we're dealt. Also, energies broke out to brand new highs, but I'm actually not seeing any longs there just yet. Now I'll get to that in just one second. No changes in the stops today. The shorts helped us out a little bit, but not enough, obviously. You can see we still have some shorts in here. I wouldn't rush out and short this one, but the reason I wanted to show it to you, and the reason it's, it's a little bit thinner on the, on the uh, a little bit thinner to short, plus it's a fairly new issue. But the reason I'm showing you this, there are a few that actually look like this, and some have much deeper retracements, but still look like they are in trouble. So in spite of energies overall making new highs, I'm still seeing some shorts setting up or some energies that are looking fairly top. The ELF still looks like it has potential. PWR still looks like it's in a lot of trouble in here. Full disclosure, I do have a couple of puts on here uh, on this one as discussed. Well, I actually just one now as discussed in the Facebook group. Let's take a look at the overall. Well, let's take a look at the portfolio first and then let's take a look at the overall market. Really just an ugly day. Not a whole lot to say about the market, but we'll work through it. Uh, ELF, uh, sell it off a little bit in here. This one still looks like it's in trouble longer term. You know, routine one day at a time. KBH, nice little sell off there. Home Builders got cream today. Take a look at, uh, we could see some more set, uh, stocks setting up here fairly soon. KNF, unfortunately, came right back into this base. Kind of an ugly day there. Honor your stops just in case. Obviously, we're attempting to catch a longer term trend. LFMD got whacked pretty hard. It's always painful to look at these things, but so far it's just got to pull it back in here. So far it still looks pretty good, especially given the nature of the overall market. Bit of a TKO ish type of move so far. Let's take a look at the overall market and flesh things out a bit. And the bottom line is it's kind of ugly out there. Take a look at the piece. Something not fairly hard. Not the end of the world, but getting thwarted right around that 30 EMA. And look at Toppy longer term. Kind of has taken on uh, it's kind of taken on a bit of a inverted cup and handle look to it and as you know recently we had the head and shoulders that bro that broke down but we did have a little throwback in here but that doesn't mean that everything's okay just yet let's take a look at bonds while we're down here bonds probed these brand new lows off their worst levels but still closing at brand new lows none the less i was asked about interest rates last night from a non-trader type of person and I told them, so far, it looks like they're still headed up. Bonds down, rates up, as you know. NASDAQ composite getting whacked a little bit. Kind of looks like the P's. Uh, multiple tops in here. A complex head and shoulder top sort of pattern. Also inverted cup and handle. Getting thwarted at that 30 EMA. So that's certainly, obviously, not a good thing. Take a look at the Rusty. Getting whacked pretty hard in here. Down over 2%. Stuck in this longer term sideways range. Short to intermediate term downtrend, obviously. The good news is there was a little flight to safety here and there. Gold did get a little bit of a pop. Not much follow through, but a little bit of a pop nonetheless. I noticed my phone's been ringing quite a bit from these gold people. Take a look at, uh, they sure do want your dollars. But anyway, take a look at energies. Bam, all-time high. So that's certainly one little nice little glimmer of hope out there. But you know routine. Let's just see. How far it goes, if we can clear these prior highs in here very decisively, then maybe on pullbacks. But otherwise, it could be a little bit of an unorthodox look at head, um, double top in here. And I'll explain that as it unfolds. But sometimes you get a little breakout just past the prior highs and it comes back in. Double tops rarely set up in a textbook fashion. But I'm not going to argue with all-time highs for now. I am, again, a little concerned that I am seeing some stocks that are toppy-looking and set up on the short side, or beginning to set up on the short side. Foods stalled out after trying to rally a little bit. They remain in pretty serious downtrends. In fact, most areas remain in downtrends. You can see financials got hit pretty hard in here, selling off out of a pullback. Drugs came right back in after trying to retrace back to the old high. So this is another toppy type of formation here, head and shoulders top, right shoulder higher than the left. So that's looking fairly ugly. Biotech getting whacked in here down nearly to percent pretty serious downtrend attack it's just retraced back to that 30 ema and now rolling back over kind of a landry light type of pullback situation health services selling off fairly hard inside day but fairly hard nonetheless well i guess it's only down a little bit but from where they started and where they ended up but you can see serious downtrend again remains 
in place there. Let's take a look at defense. Kind of hanging in there, but so far just looks like a big retrace. It has a lot of overhead supply to deal with. Manufacturing got creamed in here, beginning to break down from high levels. A lot of support below, but still looking ugly nonetheless. MNC beginning to roll over after tagging that 30 EMA, another one of these Landry Light pullbacks at high levels. So that's a fairly bearish situation. Ditto for retail, that's kind of bearish. Two transports got whacked hard in here, down 3% and a third. And looks like they're taking out this recent support. So that's certainly not a good thing. Obviously, one day at a time, but today was a pretty ugly day in here. Semiconductors didn't come unglued, just down a little bit in here. Well, down 2%. And But I guess I was looking at this inside day. But still looking questionable at best. They tried to push into all this overhead supply into this top, and now they're kind of rolling back over. So what do we do? Well, I think now's time to sit tight a little bit on a bit of a bounce or a bit more of a bounce than we've seen in this recent retrace. We could see some more shorts setting up. And obviously in the energies that we can follow through to the upside, we'll see some setups on pullback. So let's just sit tight for now and let things shake out a little bit. As I preach, Better be it's better to be on the dock drinking beer, wishing you out to sea then out to sea, wishing you were on a dock drinking beer. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks so much.